center of the campus of the University of Portland, the Pacific Tigers, a 76-65 winner here. Their first time winning in Portland since 1989. Travis Demers along with Bill Kruger. It was a rough second half, Bill, with a lot of stoppages, not a lot of momentum, but Pacific did what they do best. Yeah, they really controlled the tempo of the game. They used their uh, rebounding edge to really outdistance themselves from the pilots. The pilots really struggling at the offensive end, particularly in the second half. But uh, uh, the, 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 the Tigers, the more physical team, and certainly with Anthony Town, he was the center of that. He had a huge game. We'll get to him in a moment. I want to start with uh, Xavier Hallinan, who made his first career start tonight in the first half. His best player on the floor for the Pilots. Came out, knocked down his first shot. I thought he played with a lot of heaviness, a lot of confidence. Uh, he attacked the rim off the bounce. He initiated offense. He controlled the basketball. For a guy that's played very little in his career, he played terrific. He was the best player on the floor for the Pilots. For, for at least the first half there, the acrobatic shot with the left hand. Here in late in, late game steal, he lays it up with the left hand again. Uh, Central Catholic Rams very proud tonight by his performance. Jazz Johnson had a big night tonight, 23 points. Well, Pacific had him bottled up for most of the game. He only had five at halftime. He got 18 to second half. To his credit, he doesn't give up. He attacks, he attacks, he attacks, and finally found some shooting rhythm late in the game. He ends up with 23. He has to score for this club to win, but it was a tough night for 15, or I should say about more than half of the ball game. Yeah, and you saw the last second three there towards the end of the second half, just helping out that point total. Here is Anthony Towns. Titans career high 18 points, new career high 16 rebounds. You know, he does a good job of cleaning up. He also is uh, really smart with the basketball. He's 6'6", but he's really strong. Can use either hand. He has a nice jump hook. Did a nice job of faking and stepping through. There you see the step through right there, because Hartwood got to a couple of his shots early, but he figured it out and just had a monster, monster ball game on the glass. Let's take a look at the final stats tonight. 35% for the Pilots, 42% shooting for Pacific, but that rebound total right there, 43 to 29. A huge advantage for the Tigers. And we knew that's where it had to be for the Tigers to win. You know, both these clubs searching for wins. To their credit, Pacific coming in, playing without T.J. Wallace, who's one of their great all-time players. Uh, but they were able to pick up the slack. Damon Stoudemire used his whole bench. I thought they played with a great deal of purpose and aggression and earned the victory tonight. Well, the Pilots now have lost 13 in a row while the Pacific Tigers get their fourth win in conference this season, and they split the season series a game apiece. That's going to do it for us here at the Child Center. Once again, our final score, Pacific 76, the Pilots 65. For Bill Kruger, I'm Travis Demers. Thanks so long.